guys, it's Haley. Today I'll be doing a book review on The Air by Kira Cat. The Air is the fourth book in the Selection series, so it's not really in order, but it goes The Selection, The Elite, and then The One, and now The Air. So the Selection series is about a world in the future where there's kingdoms and kings, queens, princesses, and princes. And in the beginning, it's Prince Maxon is going is trying to find a wife to be queen and rule the kingdom with him. And he has a selection, and a selection is almost like The Bachelor when you, but or The Bachelorette. I'm not really sure. I don't watch those shows, but it's when you get girls or guys. But in the beginning, first three books, there's girls, and there's like 38 about. And he has to get to know them, go on dates, and they're invited into the kingdom. And he chooses which girl to marry, and he marries America. And then finally, in The Air, which is the fourth book, this is Edlin, which is America and Maxon's daughter. And sorry if I'm spoiling if you didn't read the selection series yet, but you should, re you should read those before you even click on a video talking about The Air. <laughs> Anyways, and this is a non-spoiler review. So now, 35 suitors, one princess, a new selection has begun. This is kind of shocking, especially because Edlin is an independent woman and she wants to rule the kingdom and be queen by herself. She does not want a guy to help her or take control. Like, she's got this and she could be very stubborn and it could be really annoying, but it makes, it's a different, unique character than some other characters or girls going to be like a queen. Like, she's a different kind of princess, which I like. It's pretty good. So, 20 years ago, her mother won the crown. Now, Princess Edlin is ready to find true love. This is an amazing book. I gave it four out of five stars. It's really great. Sometimes there wasn't that much action, and it got annoying at some times because she can be very stubborn. And I love this because this is such a unique kind of twist to a series because I haven't really read any books that go on to a different generation and talk about the characters from the other books from the beginning of the series, of them having kids and them being an adult, and it's really surprising at some points. Like, the ending is like a cliffhanger, and I cannot wait until the next book to come out. It's so good, and it got really interesting as the ending went on, but the middle of the book, eh, it can get boring at sometimes. But it's such a great read, so I hope you guys read this, get this book, and read it. And if you haven't read the selection, which you have to because I kind of spoiled a little, read those books. So I really enjoyed this book. Thanks for watching this short little book review. Bye!